Can you believe this decade is already coming to an end? Don't you want to feel healthier and stronger than before? Well, start your New Year's resolutions with Titan Medical Center. We can help you feel better, look better, and perform better. So don't procrastinate. Call or text 727-389-3220 or you can visit us at www.titanmedicalcenter.com. End of the decade, time for a brand new year and a brand new you. Guys, do not forget, 2020 is going to be your year. So get with Titan today. right here, New Year's Eve, we got line backing up out here, and she's looking for stuff in her damn purse. Her purse! I mean, what can she have in this thing? This thing's like, I mean, if you see this thing, you can put everything in here, so we'll have to see. Hopefully she's got her Titan therapies that are gonna get her through the night and New Year's, so she can feel good oh, all the way out here. I see it, I see that. ECA. My ECA. lifesaver! Thank you, Mary. I appreciate e it. Here we go. E patient with Titan Medical Center for over six years now. Um, I originally came to Titan Medical Center as a middle-aged woman. Uh, I was a personal trainer. I was doing figure competitions and my fatigue was, was terrible and sluggishness and tired. And the last six years has, have been amazing. And I really realized that my overall health 
my longevity and well-being is so much better now. One thing I love about Titan Medical Center is over these six years and they've grown and they've gotten to be a much larger business, I still get my call every month asking me how I'm feeling, am I ready for my refill, and that has never stopped over these six years as they continue to grow. The staff is very friendly. They always return my calls, and they always answer my texts, and I always get my therapies on time. A huge thank you to John and Cherise. They have taken amazing care of me. If I've had problems or whatever, you have my back, and I, 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 can't, I can't thank you enough. You do so, so much for me, so if this is any way to show my love for you guys, great, because I do love you. Hi guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're the owners of Type Medical Center. Today we want to tell you about what Type Medical Center does. Because we get that question a lot, I think, right Sharice? Quite a bit. You know, are you a trainer? Are you a supplement company? A gym. Uh, a gym. So we get a lot of different questions, right? Absolutely. So we want to tell everybody like what Type Medical Center does and how we can really help them. Okay. So Type Medical Center, if people really don't know what we do, I always tell them, we do hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, and a lot, lot more because it's really custom on their goals. There's no really set regimen for one different person. Different people require different therapies to get them to different goals, to get them the different results that they want. So that, I think that's a big one, right? Absolutely, everybody wants to look better, feel better, perform better, but then you know, you have me, I wanna be skinnier, you got the next person down the street, they wanna put on more lean body mass, then you have the next person down the street, they wanna be an athletic runner, somebody wants to be a professional rowboat, whatever. Yeah, rower, yeah. <laughs> There's so many different things out there that people are trying to accomplish, and you know, let's not forget about the little things too, right like in life with just wanting to be around for your kids or just trying to have a good bedroom life because yeah. that's important too I think quality of life is key though because quality of life really means their day-to-day -day living how their how their affected day goes that goes from all the way from the start waking up refreshed right having a good attitude mental clarity being able to get through the day with enough energy doing their job whatever job it you know they have requires that could be from a doctor to a landscaper whoever it may be they still got to be in tune to what they're doing plus they got to save some time for their family or for themselves if they want some private time they want to go into hobbies or they've got the family life like me and you do right well i mean you can't forget about these women duties okay because these women duties not to toot the women horn toot toot but you can't forget about the women duties because you got to get up get the kids ready for school, pack their lunches, make sure they're off to school and doing all their fun stuff, come back, make sure you're getting ready for work. Now you gotta do your makeup, you gotta do your hair. There's a lot of things that go into being a woman, obviously, yeah. but then you gotta go to work and if you're not on point with everything, then you're not gonna perform at work. Then you gotta come home and cook dinner and have all these fun things, do laundry, maybe a few other things around the house. And then obviously spend a little time with your husband because that's very, very important. So, I mean, there's a lot of different things for everybody. Absolutely. And even for the single parents out there, they got to do all the jobs they've got and double. they're one person. They've got so they're double. doing daddy and mommy duties at the exact same time. So they've got double the workload, double mm -hmm. the stress, right? Um, and if you got kids, you know, a big thing out there is immune function. Right. You know, a lot of people are sick. They don't know how to get better or they have to keep going in their job no matter what because they have to get that paycheck so they might not go in feeling their best. These people have kids so their immune system gets broken down. Not maybe from themselves per se. Oh, the little ones coming right, back from right. school with all the germs. Absolutely, and anybody that has kids really knows that this is a true statement. Mm -hmm. Their kids might go home um, from school and bring back these germs that gets the whole family sick. Now you have your so oh, gosh. viral infections that you need to sleep off. That's great. The list goes on. So <laughs> really, the Type Medical Center, we have therapies that will help immune functions too. So not only looking better, feeling better, and performing better, you know, your daily life, but actually building immune function. So, hey, listen, even if you're going and you're traveling a lot mm -hmm. or you're going into the gyms, you know, where, you know, people are using this equipment, they might not be cleaning down the equipment mm -hmm. and you're getting those, those dirty germs and, you know, people 
touch their mouths, their ears. Uh, they touch dirty doorknobs, all different types of things, For right? Sure. To get these different things. So uh, we know the flu's out there, a lot of different things that affect people. So immune function is another big thing. Huge. So, you know, and I think the biggest one after that and uh, right now is weight loss. So yeah. we know that, uh, you know, our population, the United States, obesity and overweight is a, a dramatic epidemic, mm -hmm. okay? And with this comes bad health. Of course. So it's like a domino effect. If one thing's off and one thing keeps going, your, your, your weight keeps going up, you're putting strain on these different things in your body and your immune fu function breaks down. Um, you know, you have autoimmune diseases out there mm -hmm. too as well, you know, so there's a lot of things that go into play. So you want to make sure that you're giving your body the best. You're monitoring your body in every way, shape or form, mm -hmm. whether it through, be through blood testing, checkups, uh, making sure that everything's functioning correct. Well, I mean, you know that I preach, you only have one body and you have to take care of it. Right. And health is number one, because if you are not healthy, it's going to be really hard for you to look good, okay? Yeah. Yeah. But obesity is huge. And yeah. with people being overweight, that does lead to some of these medical issues such as diabetes, hypertension, which is high blood pressure, hyperlipidemia, which is high cholesterol, is a lot of different things. And then guess what happens after that? Now you're going on a prescription medication yeah. that you have to probably be on for the rest of your life. I mean, nobody wants to be on a medication for the rest of their life if they can be preventative about it. Preventive medicine is the new cutting age future for us. Yes. It's always been, you know, when it's broke, then fix it. But I really truly believe from the bottom of my heart that preventative medicine is the way to be. Absolutely. Preventative is only the way to go. I mean, we, we, we do the daily or, or maintenance on our cars, on different things to make sure that they don't break down, but we don't do the exact same thing for ourselves. For sure. You know, we need checkups. We just don't need, hey, listen, it's broke, fix it. We want to make sure you break, you know, you fix it or be preventative before it breaks down, That'd fix be a good it, one. right? For sure. So at that point, it's really, really uh, key for people to be in tune to their health, to wanna to make sure that they're living a healthy life. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. And when we talk about having to go on these different medications per mm -hmm. se, they can have negative side effects that will give you these different symptoms that you don't want. Well, not just that, you know what happens is you go on the medication that gives you a side effect, then you yep. need to go on another medication that gives you a side effect, then you need to go on another medication. All of a sudden you end up with this huge pill box on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yep. and then another pill box, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, for all the side effects that the first box gave you. Yep. Yep. So, I mean, you don't, if you don't have to get there, some things are inevitable, okay? Let's be realistic, mm -hmm. um, but you know, and hereditary, but now we're finding out these things that you can actually be preventative about it. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. These different therapies, cutting edge therapies, that's what Titan Medical Center is all about. You know, helping people be their best, feel their best, look their best, but also having these cutting edge therapies that will definitely help them in these different ways with being preventative or giving them anti-aging properties or helping them be better in all different ways, shapes or forms. And that's one thing Titan Medical Center can do. And that's what I want to stress to people today. As far as blood testing, we do blood testing that you know, other general primary doctors don't do on their patients. Right. You know, we can send people in wherever they're at in the state of Florida here and help them in the state of Florida. So at that point, they could be their very best. Um, they can get monitored by these doctors that are very in tune to preventative anti-aging medications because usually the general doctors are not, right? right. They're, they're in tune to, hey, listen, there's a problem, let's fix it. Let me hear that one problem, get you out the door because I have to move on to the next person. You know, your, your visit might be five minutes. You wait in, in the lobby for 30 to 45 minutes. Then you get took back to the nurse. You're waiting in the waiting area for the, the doctor or licensed medical provider for another 15, 20 minutes. That medical provider comes in. It might not be the doctor. It might be a physician's assistant. It might be a nurse practitioner. You don't know who you're going to get. Um, so at that point, they answer five minutes of questions for you, get you a script for that medication and get you out the door. Mm -hmm. Where Titan Medical Center is going to look at these blood results with you. They're going to look at family history with you, health history with you. Right. They're going to make sure they put together or we put together a plan, a regimen for you that's going to give you the ultimate goals for your success. Um, you know, and it's not just going to be, hey, listen, what's your question? Let me get that done and let me get you out the door. You usually have like 30 to 45 minutes. With, well, I mean, with a the, lot of times too, we have to remember like they just they all they do is they look it over before they get in the room with you and then they walk in and they're like hey listen everything came back great yep and they don't even go into detail yeah. about what's what what are the interval ranges where should you really be yep. they just say hey everything came back great any other questions yep. I think that's my biggest thing. Um, even with testosterone replacement, hormone replacement therapy being, it's, it's getting, becoming very, very popular these days. Everybody's getting you know, into it. No, it used to not be. It didn't used to be. 
Now, there was really, really bad stereotypes and bad myths about hormone replacement therapy or testosterone replacement therapy. It's becoming new age. Everybody's being more educated than ever on these things. They want to feel better, mm -hmm. right? So they're going in. But when they're getting the treatment, they really don't know from their, their doctor what to really ask for. Mm -hmm. And that's really what we want to educate people for, for sure. to ask the right questions so you get the right answers, so you get the best benefit for your health. So when you go into a medical provider or your general doctor and they say, you know, how did my labs come out? Well, everything come out great. Well, what does that mean? Right? <laughs> what test did you run on me? What do we really check for? Right. Is there anything we can improve on? Right. Uh, you know, so that uh, that's a big thing. And I think education is key for all patients. Education. Our patients, we like to educate them fully about what's going on. And you know, people out there that might not be our patients, we want to make sure that you guys are educated on what we're doing and what you should really be asking for. Even if you don't come to us, you've got some ammo in your back pocket that you guys can use to get the best possible treatment. Because remember, your doctors are ultimately your employees. You pay them to yeah, see them. They work for you. It's not the other way around. You know, you, you, you think, you know, and I know coming up, you know, you put, you know, some doctors on pedestals. They're people just like everybody else. So when you're going into them and you're paying them for this experience or what's going on, you should really get the answers that you're looking for and not get pushed off or not be looked upon down or, you know, thinking you're asking a question that's dumb. Well, you're being crucified right? just for asking an extra question and they go, you know what, we're just going to make that your next follow up visit. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, at that point, you're like, oh, wow, I just wasted a whole day of work. I know. Right? Because normally people, that's what they say. Well, I won't be at work today. I have to go to the doctor's tomorrow. You have to take off a whole day of work to go to the doctors. That's not how it should be. Yeah. And that's not how it is a tight medical center. So right. if you come in with a tight medical center, you're going to get, first of all, you're going to get greeted with a bottle of water and a, a gift bag, you know, as far as us, because you're family at that point. Exactly. You're, you're going to get treated with respect and you're also going to get fast expedited service. So I think there's a lot more that we're going to be able to cover in these ongoing episodes that we want to bring out to you. But this was just the start. Well, I can't wait to go over all the different things because there's so many things that we offer. Not only that, there's so much education out there. And honestly, me and John, we've had extensive, extensive experiences yes. in this hormone for ourselves yeah. and the things we've been through and the trials and tribulations. So, yeah. I mean, it's important to at least share that with you guys, because if we can prevent you guys from having to go through what we went through, then the all means, that's what we want to do. Absolutely. So we want to thank everybody for tuning in. Make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, and all those great social media platforms. We can also help you with blood testing all throughout the state. We can help you as patients. All you got to do is call or text 727-389-3220. Welcome back guys to another Cupid's Corner with me, John, and Sharice. So we want to come back to you guys with some more tips. We said we'd have this segment for you guys every Sunday and this information is valuable for your relationship. So the three that we want to discuss today, the first one, New Year's resolutions are here, so why not try something new with your partner? Something exciting, something you guys maybe haven't done before that may interest both of you guys. This will take the relationship to new heights and you guys might find out something about your partner you never even knew. So with that, I would love to ask John and I'll tell you my intake on it, but we're gonna Ooh. ask John first. So name off like two, cause I'm, I wanna know. Two what? Two things that? That you know, some New Year's resolutions you'd like to Oh, I don't know. I mean, uh, that could be a lot of different things. Uh, that could be like traveling more, so more vacation time. That's awesome to do, right? Outfits for Victoria's uh, Secret. Those well, are those never outfits, go bad. Outfits never, ever, never do bad. Uh, more pigtail action. Yeah, sure. yeah, I like the pigtails. Uh, you know, she's got that long, beautiful hair, so that always and comes, it's real, so it doesn't come out. So that always comes into play. But yeah, those those different things. You know, I think like you know, dressing up or, or doing something or going somewhere. Um, that you maybe haven't been before. You guys can share that experience, bond together, um, and enjoy it together. Not only that too, guys, I, I guess that brings me to another topic, but it ties into this topic, is that you know if you guys do go somewhere, let's say dinner, or you guys go out on a vacation, or you guys go 
wherever, who cares, wherever it is, right? Be sure to, I know that like cell phones are, you know, like you're attached to the phone and you're on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that, but it's really important to just take like, take some time with your partner while you're there and enjoy the time that you have with your partner because I mean the phone will always be there social media will always be there your emails are not going anywhere those people are not going anywhere you should definitely spend the time with your significant other and spend the quality time not like both of you guys sitting at the dinner table and you guys are both on your cell phones like that's always been a big yeah. pet peeve for me because I'm like listen we're at dinner you know this was like a long time ago now, now John's like totally seasoned but um, but yeah back in the day I mean it's important because it's the phones are all over the place you just have the phone out it's so easy to just be out and be like boom 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 but I mean, especially, I mean, we own a business, so it's hard sometimes because you're like, oh my goodness, what's going on? I want to make sure everything's okay. It's, it's difficult. So take the time to enjoy with each other and really, really, really like cherish that. So number two, guys, put down your cell phones. Make sure you guys are putting down the technology, shutting off the technology or putting it aside so you guys can spend that quality time and give all your attention to your loved one or significant other, whoever you're on a date with. I mean, your body posture and, and the, the way that it talks to people uh, will, will speak a million words to somebody. So if you're looking down at your phone and you really don't feel like or look like you're having a good time, um, and you might not be, you might just be focusing on what's on, on, the, on your phone. It might not be trying to give off that, that, you know, that, that body stance or position that it's in um, and the posture. And at that point, you know, you might not be giving off these bad things or these vibes per se. Um, and people might not, you know, misconstrued what you're feeling. So make sure that you guys are putting down the technology, putting down the phones and spending the time and asking quality questions. That's another big one, right? Big quality question. When you're at dinner, and I did start doing this with John many, many years ago, and I don't have to do it anymore because we've been together for so long. I'd be talking to him and be like, what did I just say? And I can say it every time. <laughs> Dude, what, what did I just say? Because I want you to tell me what I just said. <laughs> and I want it to know like word by word. And he's actually been really good at it. He always recites it. There's been a couple times where I caught him off guard, but there's not many. You know, I'll, I will give him that. But, you know, I ask him, what, what did I just say? So tune in, guys. Tune in because, you know, you might learn something about your partner that you might be able to use later. Like, you know, whatever their favorite food is, you know, maybe their favorite life, maybe a place they've never been before. So, um, you know, that, that was one thing with Sharice, like, she's lived in Florida her whole life, right? <laughs> I've lived here since I've been 21 years old, all right? So I'm old, I've been here for, you know, almost 19, 20 years. So at that point, you're in Florida. You grew up in Florida as a kid. You never been to Disney World? Listen, my Nobody ever took money. you to Disney World? I don't even talk about that. So listen, it was just a benefit for me. The reason it was a benefit for me was because, like, I'm like, man, I'm like, if I was there, like her boyfriend, like in high school or whatever, <laughs> like prom or whatever it was, man, I'd be killing that. Shame that's on a, you, ex boyfriend. That's out a there. first time experience. That is something that you know every kid dreams about doing, right? Um, so when you can uh, provide that experience or have that experience with them, that's a life changing experience. That was that's a memory. No matter if they like you, they hate you afterwards, they will always remember that. That's one thing. So first time experience is another thing, uh, and, and that's key. So I mean, first time for anything, whatever you do, it could be paddle boarding, it could be scuba diving, it could be a baseball game, it could be a basketball game, which. That's another thing. First, I did with Sharice, and that I was her played, favorite sport. I right? played ball, so hello. So, you know, find out these things. So make sure that you're asking quality questions, because that's where I want to go with this. We'll cover the destinations and all in another Cupid's Corner. But just make sure that the questions are quality, you're learning, and you're you're really retaining. Retaining it. You're retaining. You're not you're just... Listening. You're listening. It's a listening thing. It really you're is listening. listening. You're not just hearing them talk. It's true. So at that point, you always want to pay attention to your partner and listen in and give them that quality time, retain the information. You might use it later and for your benefit, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's really, really big. <laughs> <laughs> might be for your benefit in Might be ways. for your benefit, okay? <laughs> so you got to love that. Um, the next one that we're going to cover and the last one will be compromise. I mean, compromise is a big thing in relationships. It's a big thing in this world. Whether you're in a business relationship or you're in a loving relationship, compromise is key. 
Um, I see a lot of different relationships out there where it's always one-sided, mm -hmm. right? Not both parties are giving the equal amount of effort or one person dictates in the relationship what they're going to do every single time. That's not compromising, mm -hmm. you know, and that's not really, I don't think that both parties are happy. Maybe one party's happy. Maybe the other party is happy because they just want to serve the first party. Mm -hmm. You know, there's different relationships out there. So if that's your thing, yeah, I totally understand. But most people, they want compromise. And that could be on something they disagree about. That could be about a trip you're going to go on. That could be about when you're going to have a child, right? Mm -hmm. now, there's a lot of these different topics that you want to compromise on. Where you live, that's another big one. That's a huge that's one. That's a huge one, right? I mean, where you live at as a, as a, as a couple, if you guys are going to move, let's say you're married and, you know, a husband wants to have a job in Texas. Sharice's brother wants to move to Texas, right? right. His wife might not want to move to Texas. And at that point, what are they going to do? You got to find a happy ground. You got to find a happy medium in everything you do, in every, everything in life, you know, and that could be, like I said, for business or your loving relationship with your wife or significant other. So make sure you guys are compromising finding that equal ground together and then you guys can build together and like i said that could be in any relationship that you guys are doing you just build from there and you build up and you guys will be very successful at your relationships and everything that you're doing to progress those relationships i think that's what's gave us um, the things that we've got today you know a lot of people they see our relationship they ask you know how did how did you get like this it's not always been like a perfect thing you know, we've been through our getting, trials and tribulations. You, know, you, you learn more about a each other, things, right? Through time, broken a couple things. <laughs> this is—I'm telling you guys. Like, I need to make sure that we don't paint the picture perfect because we've been through everything yeah. you guys are going through. Yeah. Like, I know, like on Facebook, Instagram, if you guys have met us in person, like honestly, we are a happy couple. Let me not like downplay that in any way, shape, or form. And me and John are like the guy and girl version of each other. Like, we definitely are soulmates. I agree with that and believe in that 100 percent but we've been through the same things you know like there's been things thrown there's been yelling there's been screaming but you always got to make sure that you circle back around fix it up patch it up make sure that you guys have that happy medium you guys make the compromise you guys there's got to be a compromise if you really do care about your significant other you will listen to their feelings and you will really think about even if you wanted something for your own good, you would still think about, well, what do they want? And really figure it out from there, you know? Because there's there's always a happy ground. Yep, I 100%. agree. 100%. I agree. So those are the tips that we wanted to help you out with this week. I hope you guys like those tips. If you guys want more tips about your loving relationships, what might make them better, might fuel them, ignite them, please tune in every Sunday with us. 11 a.m. ABC, and you guys will get more of Cupid's Corner with me and Sharice. We'll see you there.